More firefighters, meanwhile, have been brought in to help battle the Cory Fire in Jefferson County. That fire, which grew a little overnight, has led to the evacuation of hundreds of homes. And that fire getting dangerously close to homes. Reportedly, flames are a quarter mile away from some of those homes, and crews are doing their best to try to slow down that spread. Fox 31's Vicenta Arenas went into the pre-evacuation zones today, as well as spoke to firefighters. He joins us now live from near the Ken Carroll Ranch. And Vicente, what can you tell us? Talia, there is still a lot of concern. This body of water behind me is where aircraft have been dipping into the lake just a little bit to take water up to that part of the mountain here that is still burning. That is a quarry fire. And as you mentioned, there are more firefighters on the ground. And today we also heard about one critical area that firefighters are watching very closely. The quarry fire grew in size overnight, and at last report was a quarter mile from the nearest home. Hundreds of homes in five subdivisions still under mandatory evacuation orders. The number of firefighters doubled to more than 150 today. Three helicopters and two aircraft now battling the blaze from the air. Firefighters are keeping an even closer watch on Deer Creek Canyon Road. The fear is, we're told, if the fire crosses there, it could begin to threaten even more neighborhoods in areas around Ken Carroll Ranch. Deer Creek Canyon Road is the key for us. This fire cannot jump over to the north side of Deer Creek Canyon Road. We have a whole nother situation on our hand if that happens. The Jefferson County Sheriff's Office, which is overseeing firefighting operations, says they'd like 400 firefighters altogether, but the chances of reaching that number not likely because of the other wildfires burning in Colorado. In addition to protecting hundreds of homes, firefighters are also working on stopping the fire before it impacts a watershed used by Denver, as well as nearby Lockheed Martin facilities. And one of the questions that was asked today is, who decides who gets which resources? Why can't this fire get more resources? We're told it's up to incident commanders at the various fires around the state to sit there and say, okay, who's going to get what resources next? And the fire that needs the help the most is the one that gets those resources at that point. Coming up at 5 o'clock, we're going to take you into a pre-evacuation area and show you just how concerned folks are there and what they're watching very closely. Reporting live from the Quarry Fire, Vicente Adenas, Fox 31.